I think we're ready to go. Please welcome in our toy group, best of breed winners, led in by Lee Affenpincher, the Australian Silky, the Bichon Frise, the Bolognese, the Cavalier King Charles, the Long Coat Chihuahua, and the Smoke Coat Chihuahua. The Chinese Crested, the Coton de Tulia. Next comes the English Toy Terrier, and the Griffon. Next we have the Havanese, followed by the Italian Greyhound. The Japanese Chin comes next. The King Charles Spaniel. The Lurfchen, the Maltese, the Miniature Pincher, the Papillon, the Pomeranian, and finally the Yorkshire Terrier. And now we have our complement of best of breed winners. Now, our toy group judge needs no introduction. Please welcome our toy group judge, Mr. Albert White. Brought in by Sarah Allsop, the chairperson for Darlington Championship Show. And a quick look down at heads and expressions. I'm pleased to say the Pug has just uh, arrived to make up the toy group. And now to the first best of breed winner on the table. It's the Affen Pincher. 36 of them here today for Mr. Hick. He chose this bitch, number 5858, as best of breed. The Affen Pincher originates in Germany, going back to around the 17th century, and it was known sometimes as the little black devil dog because of its mischievous character and its impish look. They're relatively cobby. Naturally rough coated. Should be untrimmed and with a mischievous expression and a light lifting gait. The Affen Pincher. Now on the table is the Australian Silky Terrier. Brenda Banbury judged four of them today. Her choice was this bitch, number 5873. The Australian Silky comes from a, a mix of the Australian Terrier and the Yorkshire Terrier. And it has some of the distinctive features of both breeds. It was often known as the Sydney Silky because of the silky texture of the coat and that it takes from the Yorkshire Terrier. The same goes for the blue and tan colour. It has terrier instincts, sharply alert and has the, some of the length of body which comes from the Australian Terrier. There's our winning Silky Terrier, number 5873.
would be that Hoppy and Bree in the Thai group played for immediately to win 30. Beth, Hoppy and Bree in the Thai group go immediately to win 30. Our judge now going over the Bichon Frise. A very good entry of 48 of them here today for Liz Cartledge. And she chose this dog, number 5925, as best of breed. One of the Mediterranean white toy dogs, set off by its dark pigmentation of eye rims, nose, and pads and darkly pigmented skin around the eyes give it a dark halo effect. Gets the name Frise because that's a French word for loosely curled. And the Bichon Frise has silky corkscrew curls. The winning Bichon Frise, 5925. Now on the table, the Bolognese. Brenda Banbury judged these two, and she had 10 of them here. Her choice was this bitch, 5930. As the name suggests, he originates in Italy, but uh, he has other links with um, other Mediterranean places. The Bolognese is sturdy and square. And although it has some resemblance with the Bichon, here we have a coat which is absolutely natural. These loose flocks, quite natural, untrimmed, and again the same lovely dark pigmentation of eyes and nose and feet. The little Bolognese there, number 5930. Our judge now looking at the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Miss Hunter, a local breed specialist, judged a very nice entry of 120 of them today. This was her first time awarding challenge certificates. So she sent forward this dog, number 5985. The Cavalier, one of the Royal Spaniels. Hugely popular in the court of Charles I. Like many of these toy breeds, they are miniaturized versions of sporting breeds. It's thought that the smallest of the litter for many sporting breeds were kept as companions and pets for the ladies of the house. So the Cavalier here is really a miniaturized sporting spaniel. Here we have the tricolour cavalier, number 5985. Now on the table, the first of the chihuahuas, the long coat. 104 of them here today. The winner was this dog, number 6060. The Chihuahua, reputedly the smallest breed in the world, and thought to originate and to be developed in Mexico. They may be the smallest breed, but they have a huge personality and full of their own self-importance. The long coat you are with there is number 6060. With the winner of the 1724 YPC handling, please come to Chief Steward's office. The winner of the 1724 YPC handling, please come to Chief Steward's office. Now on the table, it's the smooth coat you are with. Mrs. Anna Horan judged 72 of them today and chose this dog, number 6184, as best of breed. 
the two coats of Chihuahua share the same standard. It's only the coat which makes the difference. The smooth coat, sleek, dense. The long coat having fringes of silky, glossy hair. Both of them have this dome skull, flared large ears and large eyes, and a tail carried like a sickle over the back. And there's the smooth coat chihuahua, 6184. The Chinese crested dog on the table has been sent forward from an entry of 51, judged by Mrs. Knowles. And this is a bitch, and her number is 6275. The Chinese crested is an ancient breed. Two varieties, the hairless, which we see here, and the powder puff, which carries a veil of hair all over the body. It's thought that they go back to the Han Dynasty of China several centuries ago. This skin should be smooth and quite warm to the touch. A mane of hair running down the neck and covering the feet and wrists and over the plume on the tail. There's the winning Chinese crested, number 6275. <clears throat> now the distinctive outline of the Coton de Tuliar. 14 of them here today for Liz Cartridge. She chose the bitch, number 6293, as best of breed. Was known as the Royal Dog of Madagascar. A relatively mo modern, um, recognized by the Kennel Club in 1990, but the history of him goes much beyond that. We have a very distinctive top line, a rise over the loin, falling to a low set tail. And he takes his name, Cotton, from the texture of his coat, which is like hard cotton. So plenty of grooming for the devotees of this breed. And again, dark pigmentation, much valued. There is the winning Cotton de Tulia, 6293. There were 18 English Toy Terriers for Jill Peak today. She chose this bitch, number 6309, as best of breed. Here again is a miniaturized version of a sporting breed. The English Toy Terrier can trace its ancestry back to the Manchester Terrier. sharing some of the features of the black and tan coloration with the thumbprints on the tan of the front legs, this rise over the loin and a wedge-shaped head. The distinctive gait of the English Toy Terrier is an extended trot, straight-legged and reaching well out in front. And the ears are the shape of candle flames the distinct features of the English Toy Terrier. <laughs> 18 Griffons here today for Mr. Thompson. 
and he chose as best to breathe this bitch number 6325. As the name suggests, he was developed in Belgium, and it's thought that the dogs of the Griffon type hailed back to the 15th century when he could be seen in many of the portraits of the Dutch masters. This one is a smooth coat, perhaps you see more frequently the rough coated version. But they share the same standard in this country. Square, cobby and compact, with a slightly domed skull and large eyes. The copiness of the Griffin Bruxelles, number 6325. Just going over the Havanese. A very nice entry of 32 for Mrs. Ray Harry today. She chose this bitch, number 6341, as best of breed. The national dog of Cuba. Lively, often known as the Havana silk dog. Tells you something about the coat texture. Soft, silky, may have a slight wave to it. Should have a springy, jaunty gait. Slightly rectangular in build. And large eyes and a strong skull. There is the winning Havanese, number 6341. Now on the table, eat the Italian Graham, sent forward by Tom Mother from an entry of 35 dogs. He chose this male, number 6403. Here is another miniaturized sporting breed. It's thought to have been bred down from the Greyhound, but of course, much smaller, with fine bone, the same curving outline, and the sleekness of coat and skin. And another high stepping action. Exquisitely delicate in their make and shape. There goes the distinctive outline of the Italian Greyhound. And now from a very good entry of Japanese chins, 92 of them here for mismatches. She's chosen this dog, number 6428, as best of breed. Another breed which goes back to ancient China where the breed originated and it's thought that a gift went from the Emperor of China to Japan and the breed was developed there. They are compact, cobby, with a silky textured coat. A typical in the breed is a, an eye which shows a little white in the inner corner, part of the breed's expression. There is the 
Japanese Chin. <laughs> An entry of 55 King Charles Spaniels for Anne Horan, whose choice was this dog, 6514. The other of the Royal Spaniels, it's thought that um, King Charles I and II had dozens of them running around their palaces, and indeed Blenheim Palace gives its name to the most popular colour in the breed, the rich chestnut and white, which we see here. This is known as the Blenheim, and takes its name from Blenheim Palace. Again, a miniaturized sporting spaniel. The King Charles we see here, more domed in the skull, shorter in the foreface, and slightly smaller than the Cavalier. There's the winning King Charles, number 6514. Our judge now looking at the Lauchen or Lovechen, as the breed specialists like to call it. dog, square and compact, it's thought that they originated in France, although very popular in Germany. This is a trim toy breed, the hind quarters are clipped, leaving pom-poms of hair on the four pastons and a plume of hair on the tail. A strong skull and large dark eyes characterize the breed. The winning Lufchen there is number 6565, sit forward by Tony Olcott. Our judge now looking at the Maltese, and from an entry of 15 for Brenda Banbury, the winner was the dog, 6588. Another of the Mediterranean white toy breeds. Compact, well ribbed under that coat. Silky in texture with dark pigmentation. thought that the, the breed was present in Roman times on the island of Malta and brought to mainland Europe through traders who were responsible for spreading many breeds throughout the world. There is the winning Maltese, number 6588. There were 50 miniature pinches here today for Miss Stark. She chose the bitch number 6607 as best of breed. Again, a miniaturized version of the pincher which we see in the working group. The miniature carries some of the same features in its square build, its slightly sloping top line, the wedge-shaped head, but here we have the natural prick deers, although the breed can have them dropped. In the 
British standard, we ask for a high-stepping, Hackney style of action in the miniature pincher. The winning min pin there is number 6607. Now, Judge, now looking at the minute, the Papillon. Ninety of them here today for Mr. Brian Clayton. He chose the dog number 6715 as best of breed. The little butterfly dog. Fine boned, dainty, and elegant. The wings of a spread butterfly. The spread wings of a butterfly. And now something quite different. From elegance to solid and low slung, the Pekingese. 35 of them here today for Liz Cartridge. She chose this dog, number 6765. As best of breed. We'll see the judge just lifting up the Pekingese there. To, it should pick up surprisingly heavy for its size. Much of the weight of the dog is in the four quarters. Deep chested, broad chested, the body tapers away lighter to the hind quarters. And that formation gives the dog this slight rolling action. The head is broad, flat skulled and shallow with wonderfully dark, lustrous eyes. And there the typical rolling action of the Pekingese, number 6765. The Pomeranians had specialist judge Mrs. Stewart judging 73 of them today. Her winner was the dog number 6790. We have a black Pomeranian winning today. The palm should be dainty, short bodied, a, a foxy expression fine bone, the tail high set and reaching well over. It said that the Pomeranian is so compact it looks like a little ball on legs. With a harsh outer coat and a foxy inquisitive expression. The winning Pomeranian there is 6790. And now we can go on to the pub. 140 of them here today. That's the biggest entry in the toy group for Tom Mather. He chose the dog number 6861 as best of breed.
again a dog from the Orient, from China, where it was developed and brought into the mainland Europe, but again by traders, and of course the pug has become extremely popular. Multimin parvo, the breed standard says, that means a lot of substance in a small frame. And there's the winning pug, number 6861. And now our judge looking at the Yorkshire Terrier and we see his deft use of the brush to look at coat texture and coat colours because they are very important in the Yorkshire Terrier. Steel blue body coat and rich tan on the head, darker shades at the roots and fading to the edges. The coat texture and colour of the Yorkshire Terrier are prized breed features. Here they are a toy with a terrier temperament. Alert, sporting, it said that the Yorkshire Terrier could still acquit himself and see off vermin. And of course we're in local territory. He was developed around the Air Valley by terrier and dog enthusiasts. The little Yorkshire Terrier there is number 6997. Soon we might be ready for our shortlist. The Bichon Frise is called forward. The Long Coat Chihuahua. The English Toy Terrier. The Japanese Chin. The Lerf Chin, I believe. And the Maltese. And the Papillon. And the Peak. And there we have our Toy Group shortlist. to see them move again and show your support. The last eight in the toy group. So time to show your support, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Bichon Frise. <laughs> round he comes. Motoring round. There's the self-importance of the long coat chihuahua. the distinctive outline of the English Toy Terrier. <laughs> the extended trot of the breed taking round the ring. And now the Japanese chin. The Lurfchen. The Maltese. His pristine white coat and dark pigment of eyes and nose. And now the elegance and lightness of the papillon. And at a slightly slower pace, the roll of the Pekingese. The handler taking him at just the right pace for the breed.
Now, I can tell you that apart from the four place dogs, there's an innovation at Darlington this year because those who are, don't get placed in the group will get a commemorative ribbon, a, a ribbon which is for all the group finalists. So that's a, an innovation brought in by Darlington this year. So the four who don't get placed will have those ribbons presented by the group steward as they leave the ring. But now we're focusing on who is going to win the group. I think it's the long coat Chihuahua has won the toy group. In second spot is the Papillon. Third place for the Maltese. And fourth for the Japanese Chin. So, the toy group winner, the long coat Chihuahua.